Pisces, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we have a reading for you. No particular subject, we'll um, take an issue, something we know, something we don't know. Recent past advice and potential outcome. At the end, there'll be an opportunity for an extended where we'll dive in deeper. You can watch this for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, North Node, <clears throat> or if any of those planets are currently transiting your 12th house, this could be for you. Once again, thank you for the continue support in whatever format it comes, liking, sharing, subscribing. If you've not subscribed yet, please consider it. It's the easiest and fastest way to grow the channel. Very much appreciated. Thank you to Patreon members, all those that purchase private reads, extended, buy me a coffee, donations. It uh, allows me to continue doing this for you guys. Cross watchers, you're more than welcome. The message may well be for you. All the information's in the description box. Just hit the more button below. Okay, so let's do two more. I sees what is going on. We have the Queen of Swords, independent. Okay, she has her sword and she's not afraid to use it. Okay. Okay, interesting. I just heard once in a blue moon, which is this coming 30th or the 31st, depending on where you are in the world. Uh, and it's in your sign, full moon in Pisces, once in a blue moon. It's it happens every sort of two or three years, um, and it's when there's two full moons in one month. We had the full moon in Aquarius on the first, and then the final day, give or take a few hours, um, in your sign as well. Interesting. What do we know? What don't we know? Recent past. Advice. And potential outcome. Wow. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Pentacles, <clears throat> Ten of Wands, High Priestess, King of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Justice, Four of Swords, Four of Wands, and Death, Four, Four, Four. Okay. I think you're just going to pack up and go. I think you're making a decision to do something and just think, right, it's my time. I'm uh, mastering myself with the Eight of Pentacles and you are stepping forward. Interesting. You could be going traveling or at least um, deciding to do that. Queen of Swords, what we're aware of is the Hermit. The Hermit in this deck is do not disturb. There's, there's, there's um, a situation in play here. What we're not aware of is the Eight of Wands. There is movement, there is fast movement. I feel like there's something that's about to take off and it could be something to do with work. In the recent past, we have the Six of Wands. Six of Wands is victory, it's success, it's expansion. I, th I think whatever's, whatever's going on in your life um, is gonna expand rapidly. And I almost feel like it's gonna leave you with, um, without words. It's like how, with so, you're gonna have so much gratitude, but have absolutely no idea how to, uh, articulate it um because in, in your um advice is the two of swords now in in the in this deck it's tension and opposition but i'm not really seeing that i'm just like lost for words because uh, there's communication here with the eight of wands the two of swords has just been lost for words i feel like something is just going to take off whatever it is that you've done this you know we're in we're in Virgo season. It's your opposite sign, 
Um, I'm kind of seeing the checkers here is, you know, something is very much black and white. It's like, you know what you want and you know what you don't want. There's, there's no gray area. It's literally just, yes, this is my path. This is what I'm taking. You might be moving in silence, um, just deciding to pack up and go, whatever it is. But whatever's happening in your life, be prepared for takeoff. And I feel like you're going to be in such an energy of gratitude, you will not be able to articulate it. <clears throat> the outcome is the Knight of Wands. We have inspiration and speed. So we've got speed with the Eight of Wands. We've got speed of the Knight of Wands. And what we're aware of at the moment is slow progress. Not anymore. I, I think the progress that you're going to make and how fast your life turns is going to leave you speechless, literally speechless. Interesting. Okay. I want to check out the King of Wands. Um, King of Wands is like the visionary, is the leader, but I'm just looking at the six and the eight, adds up to the 14 of Wands, if there was such a thing, uh, which would be the king. So let's see where he is. And don't get copying genders. That's interesting. It's like everything is aligned celestially. And I mean that in the sense of you've gone through a process. Because we've got the tower, we've got judgment, and we've got the world. 16, 20, and 21. The missing pieces, 17, 18, 19. The star, the moon, the sun. Celestial bodies. It's like everything is aligned. You've healed balanced the sun and the moon, the yin, the yang, and it is allowing a closure of a long cycle here with the nine of swords. Nine of swords, nine of cups, nine of wands. Nine of cups is Jupiter in Pisces, um, which was there, what, a couple of years ago? And you possibly, Especially if uh, you've you know listened to tarot or astro astrological podcasts or anything like that, and you know you were expecting big big blessings, you'll have seen a lot of shifts the last couple of years. But I feel like Jupiter in Pisces energy is really coming forward with you guys now, which is wonderful. Okay, the King of Wands is with the Emperor and the Five of Cups. Um. Now, Five of Cups, I'm literally reading what it says at the bottom. It's atmosphere and portal. I feel like you're stepping into a, like this energetic portal of knowing exactly what you want. You're seeing things clearly. It's literally black or white. We've seen it here at the bottom on the chessboard. We see it at the bottom with the Queen of Swords. You're seeing through people's facades, what masks they're wearing, and you're just stepping into some sort of leadership here. Nice. Okay. So, wonderful, wonderful things coming your way. I would just sit in the energy of gratitude because I feel like um, start start your practice speech now because uh, you you're gonna find it very very difficult to articulate this uh, these blessings. So yeah, once in a blue moon. Where was the moon? Oh, nice. So the moon is with the seven of swords and the devil. So you're breaking free of um, self-sabotaging habits, sad shadow habits, uh, breaking free of toxic behaviours, people, situations, places. But most importantly, what's standing out for me here is the last full moon was in um, Aquarius, full moon, uh, the moon in Aquarius, which was the beginning of this um, start of this blue moon, because we have to have two in a month. And then we've got moon in Capricorn, which in the moonology is um, your hard work is paying off and the end of a tough cycle approaches. Fantastic. So in your extended Pisces, we're going to look at what this blue moon is bringing you. We'll look at the specifics. All I know is you're going to be lost for words, um, which is a, a wonderful, wonderful feeling. Okay. If you can join me, fantastic. If not, let me know if this resonates. We have Virgo, we have... Mercury in Sagittarius, Jupiter in Leo, Moon in uh, Libra. 
Sun in Virgo, Saturn in Sagittarius, Cancer Pisces, Libra, Jupiter in Libra, Venus in Aries, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Saturn in Pisces, Aries and Scorpio, Aries and uh, Scorpio and Libra and Capricorn, Mars in Gemini, Swords, Wands, Pentacles, Cups, everyone's here, those of you standouts, take care, see you soon.